Hey everybody, Nora here from the Floral Elixir Company. Um, we are going to make floral cocktails today, and I'm going to make you a hibiscus martini, which um, we're going to make with the hibiscus elixir. These are this one of the flavors of the 13 different types of floral elixirs that we make. These are essentially real flower extracts, a touch of pure cane sugar, with a little bit of acidity to give it a nice balance, which, which make wonderful cocktails when you add it to spirits. You can add in champagne, sparkling water, still water, etc. for great mocktails as well. In the case of hibiscus, we actually use organic uh, hibiscus that we cook down, that we simmer down for quite a long time. We make this in very, very small batches. And it's got a wonderfully berry citrus-like flavor to it, very similar to cranberry. And hibiscus, by the way, is full of vitamin C and antioxidants. And in the summertime, people drink it all around the world because it helps cool you in the summer. Uh, helps reduce blood pressure, they say, and whatever other excuse we need to make a nice cocktail. So, to keep it really simple, because I'm not a professional mixologist, and the reason I, I created this line is to make mixology fun, for people to have some fun together at home, and to make very easy cocktails. So we're going to add vodka. So for this cocktail, it'll be two ounces of vodka, um, half ounce, which is one serving or one tablespoon of the hibiscus elixir, Splash a lemon, shake it, and we're done. Maybe top with a little soda water. So, we keep it nice and simple. Today, because we're in Seattle, we're using Washington State vodka, by the way. So, and it's a potato-based vodka. It's very, very smooth, very nice. So, about two ounces. I like to eyeball this, depending on mood. About half ounce of the hibiscus elixir. And the color from this actually comes straight from the flower petals. It's very rich, it's beautiful berry-like. Half ounce there. I'm just going to shake it just for a moment, just on some ice. I've got some ice in here already. As I said, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I like to splash just a hint of lemon in this now. A little bit. Okay. And then we're just going to pour this into two little nice cocktail glasses because I will be sharing this martini with a friend of mine. So there we go. And we're going to top this off with a bit of soda. which I just made fresh using the soda stream, which I think everyone should have at home. There we go. And if you want to get all fancy, we can add just this little slice of lemon for color, make that pop, and here we go. Cheers. <laughs> 